Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be testing out and seeing what DLSS setting or FSR setting you should be using in God of War PC. Now before we get started I'd really appreciate if you go down below and give this video a like. I'd really appreciate that. And get subscribed so you don't miss my future videos on God of War and other games that I cover on this channel. So yeah with that out the way let's get started. So the way I'm going to be doing this benchmark is by staying on all ultra settings right here. And then the only thing I'm going to be changing is the DLSS settings. And then once we finish with DLSS, I'll do all the FSR settings as we can see here. So if you're wondering what my PC specs are, they are all in the description down below. And I play on 1440p. And I'm not going to talk at all through doing any of the uh, testing here. I will give you my verdict on what I think you should use at the end of the video based off how each setting performs and uh, how it looks. But first, it's time for your computer lesson for the day, okay? I'm gonna explain to you how DLSS and FSR works so I don't get no comments asking me how this stuff works because I have in the past. So if you care about this, then uh, stay tuned. If you don't, just step, skip like a minute ahead in the video. But pretty much the way DLSS works is that it renders your game at a lower resolution right here and then uses your AI upscaling cores and your RTX GPU to upscale it to your native resolution. So pretty much you're getting the FPS as if you were playing at this lower resolution right here, but you're seeing your native resolution right here. And depending on what setting you choose, like as you can see, if we go down to ultra performance, this goes to an even lower resolution, which is why ultra performance can look worse than like quality. And with the DLSS, you have to have an RTX GPU to use it. And FSR pretty much works the same way, except you do not have to have an RTX GPU to use it. Uh, you can have really any GPU. But yeah, with all that out the way, now let's get into doing the benchmarking. So first I'm going to give you just a baseline control uh, benchmark with just ultra settings and no uh, scaling technique here. All right, so that's all the DLSS settings. I'm gonna show you uh, with no scaling technique at all, or just so kind of refresh your mind. And then we'll move on to doing all the FSR uh, settings, so yeah.
All right, so that's all the uh, FSR settings. And let me tell you, I'm already thinking FSR is working a lot better than DLSS. Ultra quality and quality, I could not tell a difference between having no scaling resolution, anything, any of this on. It, it looks super good. I, I mean, I couldn't tell the difference. <laughs> and with that said, with um, DLSS on quality, here, I want to actually look at this again. See if I can notice anything. Okay, I'll have to point this out in, like, editing, but there's a little ledge up there on this, like, rock face, like, right above where Kratos' head is right now. I can sort of see, like, some stair stepping there, If and if it wouldn't, if that wouldn't be there if I didn't have... Uh, DLSS on that that's it though here let's turn this off and set this to ultra quality yeah no that's not there anymore there's no stair stepping it looks it looks perfect wow okay let me tell you FSR don't underestimate this stuff this stuff is good Again, the reflections over here, I can't, like, it looks normal. Look at right, right here. Everything, everything looks normal, and let's see, I'm getting about 10 to 15 FPS boost from going, uh, from... No DLSS or FSR, I'm getting about 80 FPS. Yeah, then we got about 95, so that's 15 FPS, and I literally can't tell the difference between ultra quality and no no FSR at all. But in terms of using the lower settings, FSR really starts to look bad, like noticeably bad. When you get around the performance and ultra performance mark, I would highly recommend you do not use those two settings. And same goes with DLSS, I would recommend you uh, only use like quality at the minimum use balanced if you want to go lower on that just turn your actual like graphic settings down here turn these settings down instead of turning any of these uh, scaling techniques down to stay at quality or balanced for each one of these i would recommend and if you want to go lower than that just lower these settings you'll these i think these will make a smaller visual impact than having a bunch of weird artifacting on your screen and stuff like that from the scaling techniques so yeah i hope you found this video helpful if you did then hey go down below and give it a like i would really appreciate it and get subscribed so you don't miss my future videos but yeah i hope y'all have a wonderful day and i'll see y'all in the next video peace